I am going to show you how to access wiring diagrams for the Pontiac Grand Am and we have covered two um, generations which is the fourth generation which was manufactured from 1996 to 98 and the fifth generation which was um, manufactured um, after 98 to 2005. Um, so I figured it's very important um, that I take you through the uh, diagram so that you can see just how com comprehensive the information is. Okay. So when you've, uh, when you've um, downloaded the document, you are simply going to see that um, we have broken down um, the document into different, different chapters. Those chapters are going to be the systems which are within the vehicle um, with electrical circuits, of course and um, the first one being the air conditioner right um, then followed by the anti-lock brakes um, the anti-theft the body control modules um, computer data lines cooling fans um, cruise control defoggers and um, engine performance right so when you get to engine performance you're going to see that we've got the 2.2 liter and the 3. Point, the 3.4 liter okay and um, right at the bottom there, that's where you're going to see your radio, that's where you're going to see your shift interlock. Um, so you're starting and charging transmission, um, warning systems, and um, wiper and washer. Okay. So I'm just going to select the engine, the circuit diagram under engine performance. I want you to have a look at it. Um, and if you select the 3.4, the, the if you go under the 3.4 um, liter engine, you're going to see that there are three um, circuit diagrams, circuit one of three, two of three, and three of three. So when you open it, it is going to look like this, okay? You can actually um, zoom to any, any scale, right? You can zoom to any scale and then you can navigate. On the left-hand side, um, we can see that um, this is the powertrain control module, which is located um, below the left um, side of the of the dash, and we can easily see how it is connected to the vehicle speed sensors, the fuel injectors, the mass flow, mass um, airflow sensors, and the park or neutral uh, position switch, right? through these wires and the exact colors that you're looking at right now are going to be the exact colors that you're going to see in your vehicle, okay? So this is going to be so easy for you to follow through, okay? Um, and all these um, are the diagrams that you're going to see. And as you can see, it's actually comprehensive information right at the bottom here. You can see the radio and we can see we've got um, a radio circuit with amplifier and a radio circuit without, without an, amp an amplifier. So if you open one of them, the one without the amplifier, you can also see that the information is coming out and it is very comprehensive the connections um, colors of the wires um, where they're going and where they're connecting and so forth all that all that you're being given um, that information um, comprehensively and as we go down you can tell that um, the starting and charging is 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 gets different in this vehicle the 2.2 liter has got a different starting and charging circuit um from the 3.4 liter again under the transmission we can see that there is a there is a transmission uh, the transmission differ again for the 2.2 and for the 3.4 for the 3.4 liter okay so in order for you to download um, this document with uh, with all these um, electrical diagrams all you have to do is to go um to the description um right below this video um, you are going to be given an option of wh which generation you want, whether the fourth generation or the fifth generation. And when you follow that link, all you have to do is to just follow the instructions. Um, these electrical diagrams are not for sale. They are completely free. So you don't have to worry about going to fetch your credit card or worry about being that um, we are actually going to um, request your credit card information. This is completely free. Okay.